Hi there, John from MySolarHome.us. This video is about solar panel installations. If you're planning to go solar, you should watch this video. I'm gonna take you through what happens when you decide to go for solar panels from start to end. Next, I'm gonna take you to what actually happens in terms of installation, what happens on your roof, what happens uh, in your garage, basement, etc. And finally, I'll take you through what you should expect at the end of the solar process. So the process starts with I guess what's happening with you right now, you're doing your research and you're getting confused. Solar is not complicated, but when you first look at it, there are a lot of moving parts and it looks complicated. Once you get to know what it is, it's pretty simple. In a nutshell, what solar is gonna do is solar is gonna cut your electric bill. Won't cut it down to zero, but close to zero, five, 10 bucks. A month. On top of that, depending on where you stay, you can get some more money from state incentives and you'll definitely get 26% of your investment back from the federal government. That's guaranteed. Solar is a great investment. You'll get your money back. In some states, you'll get it back in three years. In some states, you'll get it back in eight or nine years, but you get your money back. After that period, you start making more money and solar ends up saving you thousands of dollars. Maybe 15,000 for you, maybe 100,000 for you. Those are real numbers. So. Once you've done your research, you've looked at solar panels, you looked at what inverters to buy, which companies to, incidentally, there is a lot of, there are a lot of videos on my channel on that whole process. Also, if you're looking for a solar quote, I can help you just email your electric bill to me at john at mysolarhome.us or you can go to my website, mysolarhome.us. My promise to you is that I will get you the best equipment at the best prices. My mantra is to get you a solar system which is like a Toyota, excellent quality, long lasting and great prices. So you, the first stage as I said was confusion, you do your research, anyway you come to a conclusion and finally you decide to go with the company. Maybe if you're going through me, I convince you and you decide okay it's time to go solar. At that point there will be, the first stage would be the signing of a contractor agreement. Once the contractor agreement is signed, the second stage, which is another maybe week or so, there'll be a site survey. Somebody's gonna come over, look at your roof, make sure it's in decent condition to take up solar panels. Incidentally, solar panels are very good for your roof, but they are very good for a good roof. So they look at your roof, they look at your electric panel, because the solar system will connect to your main panel. Some systems require the placement of an additional unit known as an inverter inside your garage or in your basement. The, the system that I generally recommend with microinverters you don't require any more big boxes in your garage or your basement, just microinverters which go under each panel. But in all solar systems, you are gonna get a sub panel outside or on your garage wall and you require a disconnect where you'll have a main breaker to shut your solar system off. The sub panel has got breakers for different arrays of solar panels up on your roof. So that's what the site survey involves. Where would they put their, where would they put the sub panel? Where would they put the disconnect switch? Where would the panels go? Is your main panel okay, etc. Once the site survey is done, the company will prepare engineering drawings. These are like electrical drawings, architectural drawings, and they'll submit it to your township in a process known as applying for permits. This process takes a little bit of time, at least a month or so in most states. Once you have permits in hand, you get into the next stage, which is start of construction. Construction starts with racking and inverters. The solar install will be up on your roof. They'll put racks. Racks are like railway tracks, as you can see. These are connected to your roof using a flashed L foot. They've got different names. The one I'm showing you here is known as a PV quick mount. So these are, these connect to your roof through the rafters in your roof. These are vacuum sealed, extremely well designed, made of stainless steel. They're large, a foot by foot across. They never leak. So one of the things which people worry about that solar is gonna make your roof leak is a total myth. Next, the microinverters or the, or the optimizers are then connected onto the racks and then all of them are connected to your electrical panel through a sub panel like i said earlier on the side of your home and the final stage is when the workers will come and put your solar panels on top and your solar installation is done next you will have inspections from your township your township is come going to come and look at the system and say okay everything looks connected is as per code everything is good stage seven is you get the certificate of approval from your township. That certificate of approval is then given to your electric company who finally issues something known as a permission to operate and now you're all done. So this whole process, depending on the company you work with, could go from two months for the faster companies to four to five months for the slower company. Now, once the solar system is up and running, what should you expect? 
Now, if your system has been designed to meet 100% of your usage, then you're looking at, that's the best situation. You're looking at maybe a five or a 10 buck electric bill going forward. Your electric bill is gone forever, at least for the next 25 to 30 years. However, sometimes you don't have enough roof to put panels which will produce enough power to offset 100% of your usage. In that case, whatever is remaining, you will still continue to get that bill from your utility company. But it's still great. I mean, even if you take care of 70%, you know, 70% of your bill's gone, you just have 30% left for your power company. Many of you are also thinking about batteries. I have more videos on my channel about solar, using solar with a battery. This video might be of interest to you. Enphase has something known as IQ8+, Plus, which allows you to have backup power in your home without a battery. I hope you like this video. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.